Question mark for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings this offseason is what were they going to do with free agent cornerback Patrick Peterson? The future first ballot Hall of Famer came over to the Vikings two years ago. Uh, last season had quite a productive year uh, in the Donatello defense, even though uh, highlights were few and far between. With that defense, P squared had himself a career year uh, as the shift shifted more towards zone. Uh, nine passes broken up, career high, five picks, uh, 77.3 quarterback rating when thrown at. His lowest since 2015 uh, was named second team all pro by pro football focus and overall uh, had himself a nice season and even though he's getting up there in age probably made himself a little bit of money in free agency and he was on Adam Schefter's podcast this week talking about free agency and all that stuff now before Patrick Peterson had said on his podcast, all things covered except for Isaiah Hodgins, that he would love to run it back uh, with the Vikings. Uh, I would love to be there in that purple and gold again and give it a run again just because I love the community there. Da, 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 da. So he said that back in January. But uh, this week he talked about free agency and he talked about uh, potentially leaving. So he talked about joining the Bengals. Well, this is what Schefter wrote. Free agent quarterback Patrick Peterson wants to play on a team that gives them a chance for jewelry, which includes the Bengals. Apparently that doesn't include the Vikings. Hmm. All that stuff. Also, he mentioned the Cowboys uh, working and mentoring with Trevon Diggs as well as the Eagles. So, I mean, yeah, Peace squared's at, at the point in his career. Maybe it's not all about the money. Maybe it's all, all about trying to win a ring. And maybe he doesn't want to be part of a teardown or rebuild here on defense, uh, especially a defense where he succeeded uh, in last season, even though the defense as a whole, uh, not, not so much. And, again, all things covered except for Isaiah Hodgins. Blah, 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 blah. But Peace squared said he, he wanted to be back. Also, Earlier uh, this month, it had been reported by Darren Doogie Wolfson uh, that there had been some interest or he had been led to believe that Flores definitely wanted Patrick Peterson back. So now that could certainly be, hey, yeah, I wouldn't mind him back at the right price or blah, 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 blah. But I, I did think that Patrick Peterson and what Brian Flores specifically likes to do with his cornerbacks, press man, being aggressive on the outside. I mean, P-squared he used to be one of the best man-to-man corners in the league. He just simply is not that guy anymore. I think one of the big reasons why he had success in Dante's scheme last year was playing a lot of zone, You know, playing off the receivers, uh, being able to read the receiver, being able to read the quarterback and letting instincts kick in, sort of basically playing uh, a safety uh, on the outside. And that's why Peterson had some success. And specifically for what the Vikings are going to want to do with Flores' defense, didn't really make a, a lot of sense to me. And Peterson, his market value estimated by SpotRag is around $6.4 million per season. Now, his first year in Minnesota, 2021, he signed a one-year $8 million deal with $2 million in incentives. Last year was one-year $4 million. Bucks, uh, so he probably has earned himself some freshening up of the contract and going to somewhere where he could potentially win a ring. I fully understand it. I, I, I get it. Both the Vikings, even though they're getting rid of some bad veteran contracts, it's not like they're waving the white flag and completely tanking. So... You know, P squared, you know, whatever. And Patrick Peterson is getting up there in age. It is what it is. Uh, and cornerback depth wise, I mean, maybe Quasey is fully committed to this teardown and rebuild on, on the defense side of the ball, even though I just saw that they restructured Jordan Hicks. Why? Why? Uh, but the Vikings youth movement at corner, they got Evans and Booth, two rookies from last season. Kalon Barnes was a seventh round pick from last year uh, that uh, Quasey picked up midseason as well. And they could stockpile uh, the cornerback room with a lot of young depth as well as some younger value free agents. So that that's uh, that could be the direction that they go. So, you know, P-Square, I think he's just talking honestly, and it is what it is. Maybe he did want to return to Minnesota. Maybe Flores did have some interest in bringing him back. But maybe, you know, Quasey is basically saying, hey, we're getting younger, we're getting faster, we're getting cheaper. And Patrick Peterson, even though we love you, uh, last two years were fantastic. We love how you mentored these young cornerbacks. We're moving on. And that could be the spot where they're at right now. So is what it is. Anyways, your thoughts, our thoughts. Patrick Peterson talks about free agency spots. Didn't uh, mention the Vikings. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.